Hello friends, this is Coldrun. Welcome back to a blind playthrough of Elden Ring, where we are back in the Weeping Peninsula for the moment, because uh, a couple of y'all left comments letting me know that there was something I missed in the south, in the woods, I think, southeast of the Fourth Church of America. So we're going to check that out. Um, and thank you also to uh, Victor Prati. Uh, let me double check. Yeah, Victor Prati, and apologies if I'm mispronouncing your name, please. Always feel, if I say your name in the... A video always feel free to let me know if i'm mispronouncing it or how to pronounce it um for letting me know basically that yeah so apparently hyeta was supposed to you were supposed to have encounters with her throughout the oh hello friends uh throughout Lyernia, and i just i did Lyernia beforehand and so yeah it, it's definitely appreciated because i would i would have been frustrated just going from hopping from place to place each time hoping to find it um hoping to find her yeah, it was clearly meant to be discovered earlier. We got some Trina's lilies here. We got uh, was that a is that a Kaiden troop maybe? Might be a Kaiden troop. Yeah, a little Kaiden troop. All right, so what is this place, this little nook here? I think I just wrote this off as the cover for the Weeping Everjail, so give it an actual look. Ah, look at that. It's a cave. Uh, yeah, I 100% missed this. Um, yeah. Oh, God. So I just, my own, I was literally scared of my own shadow just there. All right, let's use a little item known to some as a lantern. Where is this thing? Love the lantern. Tombsward... Wait, this is the Tombsward Cave? I thought the Tombsward Cave was like... That's the Tombsward Catacombs. Aha! Jinkies, this is something else. And we can actually level up once. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's put one more point into dexterity. We're at 40 dexterity and... I don't know. Maybe I'll put the rest of the next uh, couple into... Mix uh, a couple in dexterity, a couple in vigor. Maybe I'll do one in one. Always nice to dump some uh, items, but dump some runes before you explore a new place. Stalagmites, or is it stalactites? Which is the one that actually grows from the ceiling versus the one that grows from the floor? Uh... Poison. Of course there's poison. Um, I, I, I'll, no, I, I, that's actually a lie. There was no, no part of me that actually expected poison. I got a bolus, at least. What kind of hat do they have? Are they just rocks on their head? Maybe some kind of like giant like lotus leaf, like that sort of thing? You are covered in mushrooms. One big improvement, one of many big improvements from Dark Souls 2 is something that always bugged me in that game was that when you dunked yourself in poison, like when you walked in poison, it would stick on you. Like the poison would stay in your boots until you rolled it off or something. And this still does, but it, it doesn't keep building up even though I'm out of it. It's just a graphical thing, I think. Okay, that's right, I have range. It's so good to have an Ash of War, actually. Um. Hmm. Let 
Yeah, that glomp. And stab. Yeah, so you're just doing poison magic. Yeah, that's just, that's not, that's a big mushroom going out of your head. You have mushrooms going all out of your body and mushroom out of your head. And your body is covered in these red, are those pustules or are those just more mushrooms? Or is it, or is it scarlet rot even? Pearl calling finger remedy, okay. All right, we got a few places we can go. Uh, we came from there. Let's go right first. Uh, hello. Okay. So there's going to be glop from the top. Yeah. Yeah, there is. Is this one way? Uh, it looks kind of one way. Let's come back from, to that side. I am not a fan of mycology. I Mushrooms gross me out. I like eating them when they're tasty, but like... The idea of something that can grow like out of your foot, just like a plant that starts growing out of your foot is like gross. I know they're not plants, but they gross me out is all I mean. Love this ash. Poison bone dart. Anything else here? No one about to drop on me. Oh, uh, okay, we'll come back to that. Yeah, there's definitely more shenanigans a afoot. It looks like it's... Alright, we're gonna have to go down this path here. Down, drop down this one way. Okay. See, I am poisoned, but... I'm not getting even more poisoned. Big ol' rat. Immunizing cured white meat. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 8. Yes. Thank you. Poison grease and drawstring poison grease. Drawstring poison grease, I guess, gives your arrows that. That's what I wanted to do. Let me swap this out for the dagger out for a bow. What's a good bow? Let's try the Red Branch Shortbow. We can always go back to the Krapus' Black Key Crossbow, but I want to try the Red Branch Shortbow. What does Barrage actually... Does Barrage use multiple arrows? Uh, wait, what? Why can I not... I'm confused. How does barrage work? I'm pressing L2 with it. Is it like I hold this and then I... Ah, that's what barrage does. Understood. Big ol' rat. Can we make it out in time? Yes, we can. Anything else here? I don't think so. All right, now the stepping stone up to that other thing begins. Okay, we're, we're, we're doing it. We're doing the thing. All right, let's do this. Nope, wrong thing. That's not what I meant to do. It's not a bad thing. I just wanted to try something else.
Yeah, I like having, uh, and so that, I mean, it's not as good as, as the Ash of War, but it could free me up to use a different Ash of War. Like if I wanted to go back to the Blood Slash for some AoE on my Rapier, like it would let me do that, keeping a bow on hand. Uh, what is that? Apparently it's nothing. Uh, let's, all right, let's drop down and let's go to the boss. What's the boss of this place going to be? I think it's going to be a big old mushroom person. Like one of those not real, just like a tougher enemy, like a regular enemy, but kind of the boss version of it. Oh, or we could do this. Oh, it's Miranda Blossom. Okay. What my friend calls a danger flower. Viridian Amber Medallion. What is that? I like the I, I like the idea of this area, at least. Um, it gets hard to get a good sense of what the fight would actually be like if I were on level. But uh, I like the idea that... Oh, wrong ability. I like the idea that it's... Um, like a closed area with a stationary boss. Is this? Oh, you can see, even see up. So what did we get here? Viridian something. It was a talisman, right? Raises maximum stamina. So this pro... Your tree... Okay, yeah, yeah. So this is the same as the Cerulean Amber Medallion and the uh, Crimson Amber Medallion. Um, same description, I mean. So this... Just gives uh, maximum stamina is the thing that prevents poison, right? Like immunity. Or is that immunity? Immunity is poison and rot. Wait, what did it? What did I do? I got him. I'm, I'm super bad at this. What did? Uh, stamina. Stamina is just like. What actually is stamina? Stamina is like. Uh, that bar, right? That uh, the green bar on my health thing. How much does it raise it by? It would raise it to 114. That's pretty good. Not great, but like it's actually it's pretty it's a pretty solid boost. As I'm looking at this, it hits me if I get to a point where I'm really using my um, focus a lot, I could also swap that slot out for Assassin Cerulean Dagger and just keep kind of chain get my uh, get my FP back. It's not a bad idea, but not an idea to use right now. So we're going to leave here. Oh, look at that. Appropriate. I don't know that I've ever seen the moon like that. That is. Holy shit. Look at that. The moon is large in the sky. As well, it should be given this place, uh, given how important the moon is to uh, the moon is to, I mean, Renala, queen of the full moon, and... Yeah. Wasn't there... So, there was some other thing about the moon um, that I... Again, that I didn't remember before, but I noticed more recently. Let me see if we can find this. This, the dark moon. The dark moon seems like something different from the full moon. The snowy crone... This is from Frozen Armament and a couple of other frosty things. Um, were there any other frosty things? Maybe it was just frozen armament. Maybe I saw one on a f something else, but uh, maybe it was a weapon or something. But anyway, the snowy crone taught the young Ronnie to fear the dark moon as she imparted her cold sorcery. That looks like there's like a dark moon and a uh, full moon. Is the, there's moon shenanigans afoot is all I'm saying. Anyway, what, what was I here for anyway? I was here because... Uh, because Victor had suggested that there was something, like, here that I had missed. And I just, yeah, I just didn't look there in the least. Not even remotely. Ooh. Or maybe I did, but I just didn't see it. I I do not rem remember. But there was something I wanted to test also, which was one of the notes I got that I didn't understand what it meant was, it said, land squirts are soft where they touch the ground and poison will cause them to rupture. So, I saw a land squirt just back a second ago. Your land squirt. Uh, let me see if I can rupture you with poison.
I can. That's intensely cool. I like that. I like that. I like that. Oh, fucking God. What was that? Oh, it's a lobstrosity. I haven't fought you in a while. No, I didn't mean to do that. That went much less well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Friggin' lobstrosities. Alright, I don't know if this is gonna work, but we can try it. Okay, it just didn't care. It knew I was so over, it knew that Ash of War was so overpowering that it just said, never mind. Hello, friends. Yeah, there's just, just a cave here. Suddenly cave. The Stillwater Cave. See what this place is about. Don't know what that is. What are you? Oh, you're a summoning thing. Is that a Miranda flower? Oh, you're gonna take a little bit. Uh, actually, I don't think I've ever actually seen what uh, this does. Let's see what that does. Just like a burst of death magic, it looks like. Okay. Um... Yeah, I mean, you're on fire. That's good. Why is it no longer... Oh, right, right, right. Okay, no, because it's... L1 is my left arrows, not weak attack, and R1 is my right arrows, not strong attack. Okay, let's just do that a bunch more. Got bats? Oh, god damn it. What was that? You one of the mushroom casters? Yeah, you are. Okay. Oh! Yeah, okay. I'm gonna have to go down. They're being... It looks like they're being guarded or worshipped. I'm not sure which. Yeah, I'm not going to care about the poison too much. Yeah, just a... A barrage of mushroom people. A mushroom and poison. I'm not going to... Oh my god, there are more of you. Yep. Just going to... Again, just going to... Enjoy the poison. Embrace the poison. Yeah, this place kind of sucks. It kind of sucks. It's the mandatory poison swamp cave zone thing. Not as bad as some. Very not as bad as some in the FromSoft past. Uh, how do I get to you? Oh, baddies. Who says the rapier is not an AoE weapon?
Winding cavey. Uh, bats, I see you. Are there just two of you? No, they're not. Oh, you're like a super bat. Serpent arrow. Is this a new kind of poison arrow? Especially slow in there. Sage. I was, I'm sure I was meant to be uh, caught there when the bats would swarm down on me. But I am too good at clicking on R3 for that to let that happen to me this particular time. Wait, poison? How did I get poison? I don't know, but I've been going through a lot of these and I have a bunch of stuff to spare, so let's make another 10. Serpent arrow causes heavy poison buildup. Arrows carved to resemble a flying snake. That seems like it would make it very non-aerodynamic. Used in tandem with the serpent bow. Loyal minions of the formless serpents. Their fangs are daubed with deadly poison. Loyal minions of the formless serpents. I don't know that we... is Are the formless serpents the mushroom guys? We'll see. I don't know. Um... There was another... Oh, we had another type of poison arrow before this, right? Poison bone ball. Yeah, this is regular poison buildup. The other is heavy one. Okay. Sagehood. A burgundy pointed hood. A tire of the wise sages were deemed heretical. Evidence that the wearer was driven from town. Wise sages deemed heretical. I don't know who this is referring to. Is it is it those, the serpent people, the formless serpents? Is it like Order of the Formless Serpents? And is that their PR person who wrote that uh, description? It's you. So you're one of the people who died, or not? You're you're one of the sages. Yeah, it looks like you came to a rough end. So presumably you weren't one of the formless serpents because you didn't do well here. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's someone we haven't met yet. Met yet. Stake of Marica, good. This was not a boss run I was looking forward to if I had to go through the whole thing. Oh, what was that? I just jo jumped back. Yeah, I am not worried about you, friend. I also, do I have a um, an incantation, a poison uh, healing incantation? This is more for later. I do have cure poison, and I can use it. Maybe I should have. I should have equipped that. It's better than like most of the other incantations. I, I that's my mistake. Um. You just got a river flow, a flowing river of poison here. Another drop. Not a one-way drop, though. We can get back up. Poison Grease. Uh, okay. Let's see what we got here. Clean Rot Knight. You are part of, uh, Millennia's group. Or, not? is it Millennia? The, uh, I think it was Millennia and her Clean Rot Knights, the Blade of McKella. Yeah, you are absolutely part of her group. So you're like a holy poison knight mixture. Oh! I was expecting you to be more about Scarlet Rot than Poison. So that's a parry, yeah. Okay.
Okay, yep, we got you. Winged Sword Insignia. Let me, I'm, I'm checking my document, uh, my little save document. Uh, let me see if I can find this. Yeah, yep, Millennia. This is in my note on Millennia here. Blade of Michaela, served by her clean rotten knights. She's the one who defeated Godric. And she fought General Radon to a sandstone Caleb. So this is, this thing is part of, this not a knight was part of Team Millennia. Winged Sword Insignia raises attack power with successive attacks. A talisman depicting a raised prosthetic blade. Are we in Sekiro now? An honor bestowed upon the knights who fought alongside Millennia the Severed. Millennia the Severed. Millennia the Blade of Michaela, Michaela and Mikola, and Millennia the Severed. So she must have had a part of her arm, take, yeah, arm ripped off at some point, cut off. The wings symbolize Millennia and her undefeated prowess. Though she never knew relief from the accursed rot she was born into, her blade was forever beautiful and relentless. Okay. Yeah, she's 100% going to be a boss at some point. Um, she never knew relief from the accursed... Yeah, so she was... She was born with the with the Scarlet Rot. It's not like she joined Team Scarlet Rot because she thought it would be fun. Like she was she was born on it somehow. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I'm really glad I saw that. I would have missed that entirely again. So thank you. All right, next up, it looks like... So it sounds like she's going to be at the Purified Ruins. Where are the Purified Ruins? So these are the Purified Ruins, which I now know that this is the symbol of the Knights of Rhea Lucaria, who rebelled against the Carrion Royal Family, which is Millennia, because they... Well, not Millennia, um... Uh, what's her name? Uh, Ranella. Ranala. Ranala. Because they thought she was too weak after she just kind of went into a heartbroken morning mode after uh, Radagon left her for America. See, I have been I have been reviewing the old videos. I have been reading notes and stuff. Just kind of everything I've uncovered, I've been trying to organize it and put into place because I like knowing what's going on or having a reasonable chance at knowing that anyway. And also, I might have been wrong. I may have just made a total fool of myself. But that's my... Again, it's my best understanding based on what I've seen in the game so far. Based on the, the kind of the lore I've taken notes on and read up. And these are... Specifically, these are the Knights of the Cuckoo who are the Rey and Lu, Rey, the Academy of Rayo Lucaria Knights, right? Those are the same thing. Carrion Knights, I know, are something different. Those are more loyal to... The Carrion Royal Family, like, those are, like, the, the big illusory trolls. But these knights specifically are, um, are Knights of the Cuckoo, I think. Have I seen this ghost before? Come out, one and all, from the darkness underground, and let us offer unto the maiden our eyes... Yeah, so this would have been, if I had been noting what all the ghosts said, maybe this would have clued me into it. I was not noting that, but I, again, I like that the game clues me into it even now. Even now, like, there's ways they're telling me. It's not just random that she's in this place. Here you are. Talk about concerning, by the way. Another the thing, as I noticed in my notes, was, uh, where was this? The, the eyeball of Night Vike from the Frenzied Flame Village uh, that I got was inflamed yellow, and this is meant to be to, off, to lead the Blind Maiden to the source of a distant light, allowing her to become a Finger Maiden. Are Finger Maidens by nature associated with the three fingers? I always thought they were associated with the two fingers, but she's seeing yellow light in her eyes i fed her shabriri grapes everything unless they're becoming corrupted to like maybe the three fingers are all making a plot to to convert 
the like maybe she should be getting roa raisins instead or someone nicer's eyeballs but instead i'm giving her like madness eyeballs and so maybe she's going to become like a three finger maiden hello there's someone there it's me Would i'm on a pilgrimage oh. in search of the distant light and when i eat one of those grapes i can feel the light in the back of my eyes i think she said about as requesting a shabriri grape let's give a grape if I, what if I don't give a grape? No, it just doesn't. So, okay. There's no real choice. Yeah. You're not like the others who give me grapes, are you? They rest their trembling hands upon me. Howling wordlessly, they gently stroke my eyes. Their frail fingers. Emaciated. Yet still, they give me the grapes. But you... seem... somehow... Firmer. I don't skip arm day. Um, I am... Yeah, so the people trying to, like, at you, I guess, are, like, yeah, they're, they're afflicted by the flame of frenzy. But they're not killing you. They're not blasting madness bolts at you. They seem to revere you, which leads to... Which certainly feeds into my Ieda three-finger maiden theory. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Yeah, how many? You are most kind. May the blessing. Okay. Okay. And so the next place we're going to see her, Victor Prati says, is Gate Town Bridge. That's like up here, right? Yeah. So right now she's not on my map. Will she appear once I talk to her? Hello. There's someone there. Would you donate any shabiri? I'm on a pill. The same thing. And now she's here. I like that. I like that. Hello. Would you donate any I'm on a pill and when I eat one. Would I can't donate to you? I can because there's I definitely have a grape, but it's not a Shabriri grape. It's a Vike grape. Oh, it's a key item, right? Yeah, so I don't have any more Shabriri grapes. I just have this fingerprint grape. Okay, so we're gonna have to find another grape and come back to her. In the meanwhile, um, the last tip for the moment that I had on stuff that like I again missed was that. I should that I missed something in Western uh, Lyernia and should take another look there. And so I will do. I might miss it because Western Lyernia is kind of a big place, but I will do my best to 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 look over areas that I have. Like I'll, where are some areas I can look at? I can look at there. I can look at there. I'll just kind of ride up along here. Um, I mean, no, that was this was the. Um, this I've been to, I'm 99% sure, but I'll double check there, and I'll just kind of, like, check along the roads here. Well, we found a thing. This is a race point I just had not seen before. We got a new... We got a new great... Edgar the Rev- No! No, dude! It's not my fault. It was the, um... Why are you taking revenge on me? I didn't- I did not do this. I am... I assure you it was not me. I get you're upset. Like, I totally do get it. But, like, it was the, um, oh, what the hell are they called? The Misbegotten that killed her. I saw, I, I recognize, I wasn't sure who did it at first, but I recognized the, uh, the big iron cleaver. Ah.
Yeah, that's ah. Uh, I just feel I'm not even taking I'm not taking it I wasn't taking it as seriously as I should have been. I am so sorry. Oh god. Cause this has gotta be he's I mean I don't know quite what an, being an invader signals in this game. I think it just signifies you're hostile in some lost way. Not necessarily a lost way, but you're hostile in some way. Yeah, okay. Hmm, okay. All right, how are we going to do with the, uh, deal with this? We have to get your timing down a little bit better. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, run out of stamina. Yep, there we go. Nice blast. I'm so sorry, friend. Oh, God, poor Edgar. Banished Knight Halberd's plus eight and Shabriri Grape. That's not how I wanted to get a Shabriri Grape. The raw meat dumpling. Yeah, it tastes like revenge. Revenger's Shack, raw meat dumplings all around, I guess. Was this a place I had been to? And it just, like, maybe now that arena was killed, like, it was changed? You know what I mean? Like, it was, maybe it was, like, sometimes you can, like, lose a grace point if they want to progress the story. Like, Sekiro did that a bunch of times. Um, if you, if they want you to go back to the same area and not just teleport there. Maybe that was it. I don't know. All right. Well, let's see what we got. I already forgot what I just picked up. Oh, we did get a Banished Knight hal Knight's Halberd. We've seen a couple of Banished Knights. Even before you look at this, we saw the, the two winged knights, I think they were called. Banished, the two, one who worked for Godric and the other who didn't work for Godric. Um, where are my spirits? Where's my spirit cabinet? Yeah, Banished Knights, Oleg and Engval. Engval was a uh, Wing of the Storm who rejected the invitation of the Grace Given Lord and was a hero of the Fringes. He was, I think that hero, Grace Given Lord, was Godric. And Oleg, though, served Godric. He slayed a hundred traitors as the Lord's hand and earned the honor, a hero's honor of Erdtree burial. This is another Banished Knight. Finely crafted halberd, intricately engraved with an ancient motif, given to knights who, whether by misfortune or misdeed, were forced to abandon their homes. Most of these knights were sent to the fringes, where they were forced to start anew with only despair for company. I guess that's why he was sent. I mean, doesn't get much fringier than uh, than Castle Morn. I didn't even look at the item, at the stats. I assume it's a strength weapon, though, right? No, I can use it. Is it one-handed, even? I think we may have found a new slash. This has got to be slashing and piercing, right? 
we may have found a new because I haven't I don't really have a slashing weapon. This might be nice for it. Standard and piercing. Standard's also pretty good. Standard's the one that's never bad, right? Which is the standard attack? Normal or strong attack. Nullifies projectiles such as arrows while spinning. So if I'm getting arrowed down, I can do this and just kind of walk forward. That is pretty sweet. Okay. Uh, you know what? I am definitely going to use this. I am definitely going to use this. Uh, this is going to be the third... Ah, oh, gosh, but I also want... No, this will be a thing I, I rank up. But let's, for now, let's... All right, we'll drop you, drop you. I think this was... My guess is that this is the thing that um, Hervé Gonin was suggesting I check out in... Uh, in the... Uh, in Western Lyurnia. Um... And a non-rhetorical question. Could I have opened this Revenger Shack up before? I might have just flat out missed it. I'm actually going to do another loop up to here just at least to see if I missed anything else. But And then I will head back to turn in the the uh, the grapes. Guess what I have for you, friend? Hello? Would you donate them on a pilgrim when I eat? Eat up, I guess. Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. That aside, I wonder what Shabriri grapes really are. Delectably tender and sweet, yet searing. What a sight they must be to behold. I gotta be honest about this. They're human eyes. No. That's not possible. Not all of those people. Their own... So those noises I heard were... Yup. <laughs> yup. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm alright now. You're stronger than I am. I would not be alright for, like, the rest of my life. I apologize. You only did as I asked. I could have told you sooner. Think no more of it. I apologize. I'll be fine. <laughs> Understandable. Super re relatable AF. Okay. I apologize. I'll be fine. Let's uh let's reset this. She might be somewhere else now, but we'll reset this for the moment. Is she gone? No, she's not gone. You want another grape? Ah. Is that you over there? I've gleaned something very important indeed, thanks to you. The reason why it was eyes I had to eat. The distant light is far and frail. So faint it can't be seen by the naked eye. But with everyone's eyes together, it appears. Finally, it all makes sense. I'm certain now. I will be a finger maiden. Two things. One, are we maidenless no longer? She said she will be a finger maiden. Like, not she's not one now. She probably has to go through the rites of the finger maiden, which involves me killing some kind of ridiculous boss. But she's clearly something like that. Um, she's, I, we're going to have, she's going to be something like that. But again, if if you've played Dark Souls you, 3, you know that not all, not all weddings and relationships are, are are pleasant in the end um so i don't know how this is going to be but i feel like we are going to be tied somehow she seems really important i've gleaned something very uncertain now okay i'm curious when you when you get that option i'm before you kind of i'm, I'm sure there's like a right and a wrong answer like maybe i picked the wrong one or the right one but like Story-wise, what was your inclination? Were you going to tell her? Were you going to tell her she's been eating human eyeballs? Are we going to... Not just human eyeballs. I... Oh, she gone? She's gone. Uh, not just human eyeballs, but eyeballs that... Um... 
of finger recruit and Bach. Yeah. Not just eyeballs, but eyeballs specifically that um, people ripped out and gave to her. Because I think that's what the... Is that what's being implied? That they ripped their own eyeballs out or that they were sacrificing other people and ripping their eyeballs out? What a lovely conversation we're all having. Let me... I'm going to wrap up uh, after I head back to the round, uh, the, the round table to uh, the Table of Lost Grace to round table hold and see if she's there and at least upgrade my weapon if she's not. Plus 9, plus 10, plus 11. Nice. All right, Banished Knight's Halberd is up there. And let's get our Red Branch Shortbow up there, too. Yes. Good. Feels more... I don't know. Feels, it feels nice to be a dex build and have a, a bow available to me. All right, not seeing anything, not seeing any sightings of Hyetta here. And so with that, I'm going to wrap it up for today. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, leave a like, subscribe, and the next video will be a little bit different. Um, the next video will be another version of kind of a 0.5 video, kind of a road so far. But last time was just kind of watching the cinematic. This time will be different because... Uh, I actually have thoughts that I've been collecting. Theories and thoughts and kind of laying stuff out about what my understanding of stuff is. Again, not looking to get like confirmation or anything like that because spoilers and all, but I just want to share what I'm thinking because I thought it might be fun um, with regard to all the all the stuff. So again, I'll, I'll mark it out so you can skip it if you just want to get back to gameplay and uh, we'll return to that the following episode, but I will see you hopefully then. Bye-bye.